Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for another Heyday video. Now this one's focusing on the gift catalogue and the holly and it's an important one for you so please do pay close attention to what I'm going to say. Now at the moment you're earning holly within the game that can only be spent within the gift certificate catalogue and there are some things you need to think about. Now there were three parts to the catalogue. Part one is now closed. Part two, which is ongoing at the moment, leaves in two days, hence the video now. Part three opens in two days, and then on January 3rd, everything disappears and the holly will be removed from the game, as will the catalogue and the machine. Now at the moment, there's only two ways to get the holly in the game. One was the boat, which is now finished. You can't get any more holly that way. And the holiday task, which is ongoing. And that you've got until this event ends. Now, depending on how many holly you had left over from the boat event, you're able to get 4,900 holly from the holiday task. So adding all of those together will give you your total that you can spend between catalogue number two and catalogue number three. Now, if I look at my main farm, level 198, I've got 3,940 holly already, and I still have 2,900 holly to get on the actual holiday task at this moment, which will give me a grand total for the combined totals of 6,840. Now, remember, at the end of the game, holly will be converted to coins, and I don't want to do that. I want to be buying as many items as I can. So how is this going to be broken down? Well, I've got 6,840 holly, and the third section only requires 4,766, if my math is correct. Please do double check. There are some items there that are related to coins, which I don't want to be doing, so uh, I'm going to be adjusting my totals later. But it means I need to spend 2,000 holly pieces in the second section within the next two days, or I'm going to be converting this to coins, which is not what I want. Now, if we look at the game itself, I'll show you what I mean down here. So, welcome back to my farm. Now this is an Alfred based event and when you're playing the game you can only see the certificate by clicking over on the side. You can see that I've got 3940 holly there already and I've also got some certificates from helping other people out. It's the holly that's the key focus. Now that holly, I need to spend it. Now I've spent some already, as you can see, like I bought some decoration. There were some pieces down there that I haven't bought and there's some that I have. So I need to be looking through this second section of the catalogue uh, and then deciding what I want to buy. Now this is the third section. I want to buy these pieces as well, in addition to some of the other items coming. And if you add up all of these totals, you'll see that I'm going to end up with more holly than I actually need for the third section, so I need to be spending quite a lot more uh, within that second section. Now if I look down at the road, you can see I've already got holly pieces down there, added amounts I've mentioned, some I've claimed and some I haven't. Now the ones I haven't claimed are the ones that uh, are not ticked. Now, the ones that have ticks could be decoration or other items down there, but it's the holly in question. So 2,900 holly is still to be claimed, uh, plus my diamonds and my decoration and the booster, which is not so useful. I've claimed these ones that I said were ticked, and those ones are already included in that total. So it's literally just how do I decide I want to spend this? Well, that's going to be the next part of the video. What I'm going to be doing now is looking at what I want and then spending. Now I reckon I need about 2,000 odd I need to spend uh, giving me a nice little total to take into the third catalogue. You need to check your calcs yourself everybody and decide what you want to buy. Now remember everything comes by Alfred and sometimes there are some limitations. You can only order one package at a time. You order the package, you open it. Now I'm focusing on decorations, I'm focusing on chick vouchers uh, and then puzzle pieces, then blue Prints, uh, sorry, uh, permits, then blueprints, then anything over and above after that. Now, how do I know what I need? How do I know what I want? Well, if you're looking at the actual permits, go down to your land at the bottom hand corner, click on that one, it will tell you how many you've got in storage. If you're looking at the other items, like uh, the planks, etc., go on over to your barn, your silo, tap on those, see what you need, and then base your decisions bound on that. Again, you've got town items, you've got boosters, there's a lot of things down there that you might want to get or may not want to get. Uh, the key thing I don't really want is the coin one, so I don't really want to be leaving any holly left over just to convert to coins. Uh, 
Now, there is one issue which a lot of us are going to experience, and that relates to the blueprints. If you try to buy the blueprints, it may say your stock limit is maxed out and you can't get them. So do do the double check where you're going into your storage and checking on this one. Now, to see how many blueprints you've got, you're going to actually have to go up into the top left-hand corner where you've got your icon. When you click on that, it will come up with three tabs. The second tab has all of your information about your farm, and this will show you how many blueprints you've got, uh, as I'm about to do very soon. Now, this is what I need for the barn. I want to go with the plex, so I'm going to grab some of those. Silos, not too much of a worry for me. <coughs> Coming down here to my land, have a quick check, what have I got? Um, okay, I still need a lot more permits down there. Up here is where I'm going to be checking the second tab, and I slide on down there. Blueprints own 16. Mm, that could be a problem for me. So if I try to buy the blueprint, it won't let me. Now, this is where I'm going to have to spend those. Now, I want to reduce my stocks for the blueprints, which means buying custom decoration. I see a few posts on this. People said, I can't buy the blueprints. Why? This is the reason why. Now, checking the day or third part of catalog, I see there are no more blueprints down there. So this is good news for me. So the only blueprints are in this second section, and I do want those. So there's 900 points worth of blueprints. Very useful in Indeed, uh, I got 16 in stock at the moment. Mm, let's start using. Right, find a little space. I can add in a nice decoration. <coughs> Click on my custom deco, which is this icon here. I can see a lot of the deco I've got already. Now, the great thing about this, you can upgrade these designs. You can stop at any stage. You can max them out. You can pick and choose. But blueprints are needed for some of the designs as you progress them. They're also going to cost you coins and vouchers. Now, I've gone with the yard deco because I love this one. It's one of my favorite ones of all of the collection pieces, and I like to mix and match there. Now, you've got three choices again. I'm going to go with the bamboo. I do like the yellow, so I'm going to choose the yellow as an example on this one. There's my first coin expense, 1,500, not a problem. That's going, sorry, 15,000, that's gone. Sandstone and wood, mm, difficult decision. I do like the wood, and I do like the stone, and I do like the sand, but uh, it's a hard choice at the end of the day. So what would you choose? Now, white or gray or brown? I'm very partial to the brown. Now, 100 greens, 10 gold, that's a lot and very nice. It's cool to stop there, actually, because I kind of like that base by itself, and I think it's very nice. But I'm going to add the actual uh, side pieces, because I want to be using those blueprints. Now, first stage is to spend coins to give me the basic foundation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next stage is to choose the curtains. I think in this case, or should I go with flowers? Flowers is nice. Mm, yellow flowers, I think. Here you can see my first one for the blueprints. There's three down there. Now, if I wanted to, I could stop because that's enough blueprints for me spent uh, to actually get the ones from the catalog. So just look at what you're spending. Look at what you're doing. But I'm going to go all the way. There's another upgrade down there. I used that one as well. That looks beautiful. It does. Keep going all the way. Let's max this one out because I think it's gorgeous. Mm, lovely flowers. Look at that. And a few more down there as well. That's going to kick into my storage quite a lot. Give me more chances to get blueprints within the actual derby and other ways. So decorations now complete. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I can now purchase those blueprints. I can now purchase other items within the game. Um, I can come back here and see that my actual blueprints have gone down. So I've got plenty of space there to add any new ones. Lovely. I've come back there. I start purchasing those. Now, from the catalog itself, as I said, there's a lot of choices down there. What do you want to choose? Uh, this is your decision that you're going to have to make between now and the next two days when that second section finishes. If you do not want to lose those holly pieces and have them converted to coins, then fine, don't do anything. But if you want to spend the holly and have enough holly also for the second section, look at the totals, look at what's on the board, start spending now and then balancing. 
Now for me, as I said, the coins are not so important, so I'm going to ignore those ones. Uh, there's some nice options down there for other bits and bobs. I'm not really interested in everything, but um, I can still purchase a few of those, so I'm happy on that side. Um, this is my decision, my choice, and that's what I'm going to go for at the end of the day. What would you do? What is your decision? What are you going to spend? Please choose wisely. Now to recap, okay, part one is closed. Part two, which you're on at the moment, leaves in two days. So part three will then open after that, and then that will close. And then January the 3rd, all of your holly will be removed. Now, if you're just interested in the coins, you don't have to do anything. It will just convert to coins. The exact rate, I can't remember, but it's not that nice at the end of the day. I'd rather buy items. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was informative enough for you. It will get you thinking before it's too late. If you would like to support me as well, please do use code red knight within the game. That's R3DKNIGHT. Additionally, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm working towards my goal of 75,000. You can also watch some of my other videos and join me on my live streams. Uh, I will be doing a Christmas live stream on December the 25th, Japan time, so please do join me for that one as well. But if I don't see you two now and then, Merry Christmas. Bye now.